Gemini 3 Plus Deep Think, enhancing Gemini to become a super agent. Today I'm going to show you how Google just turned Gemini into a thinking machine. This is brand new, this is revolutionary, and it's completely free. I'm going to walk you through exactly how to use Deep Think mode to automate tasks you never thought possible. This changes the game for anyone using AI. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. So Google just released something huge. Gemini 3 now has DeepThink mode built in, and I need you to understand what this actually means, because most people are gonna miss this completely. DeepThink is not just another feature, it's a different way for AI to process information. Instead of giving you an instant answer, Gemini now takes time to reason through problems. It thinks step by step, it considers multiple angles, it checks its own work, just like how you would approach a complex problem. And here's the kicker, it's available right now in the free version of Gemini. You don't need to pay for this. Google is giving this away to compete with other AI tools that charge for similar features. Let me show you exactly how this works. When you open Gemini, you'll see a new option called Deep Think. It looks like a small toggle or buttons near your input box. When you turn it on, Gemini switches from fast mode to thinking mode. The response takes longer, but the quality goes way up. I tested this extensively, and the difference is night and day. Regular Gemini is fast, but deep think Gemini is thorough. It catches mistakes regular mode would miss. It gives you more detailed explanations. It handles complex tasks that would normally require multiple prompts. Here's a real example. Let's say you want to create a content strategy for the AI profit boardroom. You want to attract people interested in AI automation. You need topics that actually convert visitors into community members. With regular Gemini, you type something like this, create a content strategy for an AI automation community, and you get back a generic list. 10 blog topics, maybe some keywords, nothing special, nothing you couldn't figure out yourself. But with deep think mode activated, everything changes, you give it the same prompt. Create a content strategy for the AI profit boardroom that attracts business owners looking to automate with AI. And then you wait. Now, if you wanna dive even deeper into AI automation, I've got something special for you. I run a community called the AI profit boardroom, the best place to scale your business, get more customers and save hundreds with AI automation. Learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like Gemini Deep Think. The link is in the comments and description. It's at school.com slash AI Profit Lab. Gemini starts thinking. You can actually see it processing. It's not instant. It takes maybe 30 to 60 seconds, but watch what happens. It comes back with a fully reasoned strategy. It explains why certain topics work. It maps out a content funnel. It suggests specific angles based on what actually converts in the AI automation space. It might say something like this. Start with problem aware content. Business owners searching for how to reduce repetitive tasks, then move them to solution aware content, specific AI tools that solve those problems. Then finish with product aware content, why a community beats learning alone, and it explains the psychology behind each stage. That's the difference. Regular mode gives you answers. Deep think mode gives you strategy. Now let me show you where this really shines. Complex automation workflows. This is where most AI tools fall apart. You ask them to map out a process, they give you surface level steps, but they miss the details that make it actually work. Here's what I did. I asked DeepThink Gemini to create an automation workflow for the AI profit boardroom, something that would save time on content creation, turn one piece of content into multiple formats, and do it in a way that maintains quality. I gave it this prompt, design an automation workflow that takes one long form video script and repurposes it into 10 different content pieces, include the specific tools needed, the exact steps, and how to maintain the quality across all formats. With regular Gemini, I'd get a basic outline. Maybe it says use a transcription tool, then an AI writing tool, then post to social media. That's not helpful, that's obvious. But deep think mode went deep. It mapped out the entire process. It started by analyzing what makes repurposed content actually work, not just exist, but actually engage people. It explained that you need to adapt the message for each platform not just chop up the same content. Then it gave me the workflow. Step one, take the video script and identify the core message. What's the one thing this content is really about? 
Step two, extract five to seven key points that support that message. Step three, for each platform, reframe those points in the language that platform uses. LinkedIn gets professional framing, Twitter gets punchy statements, YouTube gets detailed explanations. It even specified the tools. Use Claude or ChatGPT for the initial extraction. Use a tool like Descript for video editing if you're pulling clips. Use Canva for creating quote graphics. And it explained why each tool fits each step that level of detail is what you get with DeepThink. It's not just giving you steps, it's giving you a system. Let me show you another use case, customer research. This is something most people do wrong. They ask AI to analyze their audience and AI spits out generic demographics, age ranges, income levels, stuff you could guess. But watch what happens with DeepThink. I asked it to analyze the ideal customer for the AI profit boardroom, someone who would get the most value from an AI automation community and actually stick around. I gave it context. Our community focuses on practical AI automation. We help business owners implement AI without needing to code. We share real use cases. We provide templates and systems. Who is our ideal member and why would they join? DeepThink took that and ran with it. It didn't just list demographics. It built customer profiles. It explained the psychology. It mapped the customer journey. It said the ideal member is someone who's already tried AI tools. They've played with ChatGPT or Gemini but they hit a wall, they can do basic tasks, but they can't figure out how to actually automate their business processes. They're stuck between beginner tutorials and advanced coding. That's your person. Then it explained why that person would join. They're not looking for another course. They've bought courses, they're looking for a community, people who are actually doing this. Real examples, real templates, real conversations about what works and what doesn't. That's what converts them. See the difference? Regular AI gives you surface insights, DeepThink gives you understanding. Now here's where it gets really interesting. DeepThink can actually help you build better prompts for other AI tools. This is meta, but it works. Let's say you're using ChatGPT or Claude for content creation. You know your prompts could be better, but you're not sure how to improve them. You can use DeepThink Gemini to analyze and optimize your prompts. Here's what I did. I took a basic prompt I use for writing emails. I pasted it into DeepThink and asked it to break down what works and what doesn't then suggest improvements. The original prompt was this, write an email promoting our new AI automation workshop, make it engaging and include a call to action. That's a bad prompt, it's vague, it doesn't give the AI context, it doesn't specify tone or audience or outcome. DeepThink analyzed it. It pointed out exactly what was missing, no audience definition, no pain point identified, no unique value proposition, no specific call to action, just generic instructions. Then it rewrote it. Write an email to business owners who are spending too much time on repetitive tasks. They know AI exists, but haven't implemented it yet. Open with their biggest frustration, running out of time for growth because they're stuck doing admin work. Present our AI automation workshop as the solution. Specific tactics they can implement immediately. End with a clear call to action. Register for the live workshop where we'll build an automation together. That's a complete prompt. That's going to get you better output from any AI tool. And here's the thing, you can do this for any prompt you use regularly, content creation, customer outreach, data analysis, strategy planning, use DeepThink to optimize your prompts. Then use those better prompts in your daily workflow. Your output quality goes up across the board. Now, if you wanna dive even deeper into AI automation, I've got something special for you. I run a community called the AI Profit Boardroom, the best place to scale your business, get more customers and save hundreds with AI automation, learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like Gemini DeepThink. And if you want the full process, SOPs and 100 plus AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 40,000 members who are crushing it with AI. The link is in the comments and description. It's at school.com slash AI Profit Lab.